Silence. Silence is God. Have you heard the statement? Silence is golden. Silence is an answer to all the problems. We have all heard these statements from so many books and slogans. However, silence can have so many connotations. For example, silence can be very harmful or it can be very elevating to the spirit. It depends from what, you know, a depressed person is also silent. A happy person is also silent. So, you go to jails, people people are silent, forceful silence, extreme fear silence. You put a gun on someone's head, okay, very silent he will become. So we are using extreme fear to make, bring this silence on the person. The murderers, people around murderers will be very silent. People around kidnappers will be very silent. People around these terrorists will be very silent because there is extreme fear. The second silence is you go to schools. The teacher brings pin drop silence. So using the voice, using shouting to bring about silence. This is the second way of bringing silence in a, in a space. The third way is because of society we are silent. For example, you go to a graveyard, you've got to be silent because you're supposed to be silent. You go to a hospital, you're supposed to be silent. You go to a religious place, you're supposed to be silent. So any such social bondages or social society pressures, we need to be silent. But the first three silences are not elevating. In fact, it will put you down. It doesn't elevate the spirit. It, it just, you know, you get downer and you don't feel nice about it. But the fourth level of silence, imagine two lovers meeting and you remember especially before your marriage and of course it can be after also but mainly when two lovers meet time just flies and the silence many a times there are no words spoken but lots is spoken between them so this type of silence is very elevating but yet it is dependent silence on each other and the fifth elevated way and most beautiful way is just silence for no reason. Silence because life is so magical and divine. So being one with nature, you see the sunset and you go into silence. You get the blow of the wind and you go into silence. You hear the birds chirping, you go into silence and you become one with the nature. That silence is the most elevating silence one and heals you real fast. Yes, so these are the five different ways of silence. A depressed person also goes into silence but the other side. And a happy person goes into silence, chosen self-volunteering silence. A person does the mourn worth. A person doesn't speak. He can be depressed, he can be in between or he can be a very very happy and elevated also it depends on the context of silence check you know so a lot of time people say when they are depressed i want to go into silence for so many days and i always tell no no not this is not the time to go to silence in fact if you are depressed you need much more activity to come out of the depression and if you're happy and you choose to go to silence it's even it's so beautiful so uh, going into silence and you know uh, stopping to speak you need to be in a beautiful state and then you choose to go that way rather than being and trying to use silence to come out of a low uh, come out of a depressed state not the best way okay thank you Guruji for giving us this beautiful knowledge thank you thank you thank you